Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'm going to be reading is poem 648, and this is called A Tortured Soul. This is an oldie. I wrote it seven years ago. It's about a father reading to his son a bedtime story. The story is actually about him and how he was an outcast once, showing his son that it doesn't matter who you are, how different you are from the rest. You are never alone, and you can still rise above and be important. A Tortured Soul. I know of a story of a boy. His loved ones refused to accept his tormented ways. The other blood was the only one that saw talent and art. Perhaps there was some resemblance, maybe passion. None of the doctors understood the mystery, but they kept trying to mold him into society's clone of a perfect citizen. He wrote in his composition book every day. He sketched skulls on every page. His words developed. They were so intense. It was funny how still he had so much to say. People spoke under him. Family was ashamed how they could have produced such a tortured soul. They thought he needed a higher dosage of reality. His words became angry, but along with that was beauty, passion, and power. He cared less about judgments, but more of the future. One night when he was sleeping, the loved ones made a call. He was taken away to an institute of the insane. His blood screamed and yelled, but there was no point. His younger brother was gone away. For each day he was away, there was a little red pill that he had to take. He looked around. He was not like them. He was stable. One night he faked a seizure. A nurse rushed through the hallway, and that's how he planned his getaway. I tuck in my son and close the storybook. So you see, that was the story of a little boy, one that was strange. His loved ones never did accept his tormented ways, except his blood that own a gallery filled with art. That's for the torture soul. He found passion, the written word that traveled around the world.